here we are in the arena workshop where we're going to attempt, attempt to get ourselves a Dinka Ballista Kanjo. And I'm not really sure what theme to go with on this. I mean, there are a lot of options. Oh, look, I'm not even arena workshop. That's what we want. Boom. I mean, we can keep it kind of stock looking, a little bit stealthy. Put like a subtle wing on it, some off road tires, slam it down, not quite all the way. Because that's apparently a, a key thing here, according to Ruffy. I have one of the last two suspension settings just to keep it from hopping around or bouncing around all over the place. It's a bit willowy otherwise. He says that it was a bad driving experience, and I can trust him on that. The guy kind of lives the whole thing. Somewhere here, but I mean, there's different things we could do. Do we want to go lemonade mode? We could make it the lemonade blister. We could match the paint scheme, the, uh, the Mountain Dew kind of paint scheme that's on my other blister. As it may depending on performance, be replacing it in uh, when I run splits. I'm not sure, because it's, it's an interesting thing. The um, I've driven, well, I have one set up on Rusty Jack's account. You may have seen that video, you may not. It depends. And it definitely, it's not a tight turning car. I mean, it feels, it feels kind of sluggish when you're driving. It's like driving a car through honey is the best way I can describe the feel for the car. So I don't know if it's nimble enough to handle something like splits. It may be. It may be just nimble enough, in which case it's got 5 miles per hour more top speed than my regular blister. And uh, I did find out, I mean, watching, you know, watching stuff, I mean, if you watch Bruffy, he says the, the, the Brioso is the fastest one. And it is certainly if you can master it. And I've always had trouble mastering it because it just snaps around on me randomly whenever I'm racing it. It's always, I always end up crashing the Brioso. But watching Pyrel, he said it does have a particular problem in tubes where it's, uh, it goes completely unstable. And since I mostly race, the only time I ever really race compacts is on splits, then, you know, that could be my problem. I mean, it could be just that, you know, my Super Mario... Rioso just isn't gonna isn't gonna hang in a, in a stunt race situation. So this, this this is gonna be in a competition with my my regular blisters. You know that's what we're gonna have to figure out now. Let's let's not do any body mods just yet. What we have to figure out is what is our style gonna be here. Are we gonna go plain? Street decal. Okay, we picked the wrong color altogether. You can't see any of the decal. All right, let's let's do a respray primary color. Let's do matte. Yeah, let's just do matte white just to give it give ourselves something to look at. Okay, that's expensive for what it is. We just want to see the livers. Okay, street decals. Not calling to me. Although the white kind of does. That's kind of that's kind of neat. Shopping list. Milk, apples, drumsticks, jerky, donuts. What's the... Muesli, tomatoes, yogurt, tuna, eggs. Now, Clubman Racer. Dinka. Total bucket. Now, you'd think this is what I would have gone for for Rusty Jack, but I mean, there was a livery that so perfectly matched his... Uh, this Nero custom, I had to go for it. Do we want to do a rough and tumble, rough and re No, that's not what the CEO would drive. Outlaw Racer. That has a very uh, initial D look to it. Outlaw, what does it say up there? Too slow, Mr. Policeman. Oh, that's, that's neat. The Highway Hunter. Again, not bad. Midnight Champion. Atomic Motorsport. Now, this is the one I used for uh, for Rusty Jack. This plus the orange paint job. Same livery as his uh, other stuff. On Global Oil. Uh, 
Again, with the white, it might kind of work. Whoa, what happened? Oh, I, I switched it to Dinka accidentally. I, I thought, whoa, how did the whole thing change? I kind of like that over the other thing. I mean, I'll even leave the, the, matte, white, the matte finish on it. That's kind of... Think about that Dinka Ray String. Fukuru. And of course, this was my original plan. I mentioned this is doing the shiny wasabi kitty kind of wild thing there. Doesn't that look like that's supposed to be her hand doing the the you know the, the V there? And of course, it's shiny wasabi kitty. There you go. I feel like everybody is going to be doing the shiny wasabi kitty. Like this is just going to be so overdone. I mean, yes, it's going to be, you can, you can affect the overall look by what the, the base coat is. But, like, this is, you're just getting, oh, another shiny wasabi kitty. You know? I'm not saying I won't build another one at some point, but I don't think it's this one. I like the colors, I like the color scheme, but... I think... I think Global Oil Racing, that's the one that's that's calling to me. I like the red. Now, do we want to go to Respray, primary color, go metallic with this, and shine it up? It shines up the whole livery. Welcome to McDonald's! Gasoline green and red. Now there's an interesting combo. Purple. There you go. We can cream, ice white. You know, to be honest, the kind of just the plain look there. That that's kind of. I think we're happy there. Secondary color. That the only thing it changes is the secondary is the the wing mirrors. We want them red, dark red. Now they don't have a red that matches, of course. So we're gonna have to just make them white. Assuming there is a a white that matches. There you go. Ice white mirrors on the secondary. Now, let's go back up, make sure we've hit everything here, okay? Now, with this look, that we know we're going with a race car look, armor is set, brakes are set, bumpers, front bumpers. I don't want to get anything wider, really too much wider than the car. Lightened bumper, street bumper, highway race. See, the stuff here, that's, that widens in a little bit, extreme arrow feel like if I want to really race this thing you know, like just a plain light bumper so I don't catch on something there's gonna be something somewhere along the line lightened bumper highway racer bumper see that doesn't widen the car either it gives it kind of a good lightweight track bumper Time attack bumper. Stripped and small diffuser. I mean, you can't get less catch up on stuff than that, but that is just ugly. I'm sorry. I guess we're going to... Highway. I think the highway racer. That that has a good look to it. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else that calls to us here? Doesn't have the tow hook. I guess those are tow hooks underneath you can use them for. Lighten bumper, lighten bumper diffuser, primary trim and subway ring. Oh, we've 
got lightened on the front. Let's go highway racer. Doors. We want wind deflectors. Yeah, we want wind def let's deflect the wind. Engine, rev it up. Exhaust. Obviously. No, this was what I was going to do. <coughs> I was going to go with the the Wasabi Kitty version of it, but no. No, I've got them on uh, got them on my drift uh, drifty sort of what the hell, I'm just driving the damn thing. The Futo, the Futo has the, you know, those, but let's go Chrome Big Boy. Or just maybe Performant. Chrome Track Exhaust. There you go. Let's go with a Chrome Track Exhaust. This track. Fenders. Sticker bomb. No, we don't want sticker bomb. Sticker bomb. Vintage front fenders. I could see that. Harbin street fenders. Does that gussy it up just a little bit? Street fenders. Carbon street. It does do that. It changes the color of the Dinka. Dinka. That gives it a nice little. Now yeah, let's do that. Carbon track fenders. What's the difference between a carbon street and a carbon track? Carbon street. Carbon track. They're a little bit thicker. See that? Ah, I like the settler ones. Uh, is there anything else? Carbon race fenders. Well, the carbon race fenders have kind of... Uh, they kind of have this vent out the back. It makes it go a little bit more menacing. It does widen the car a little bit, though. But, or does it? Look from the top down. Yeah. Let's, let's leave Carbon Street. Grill. I like the intercooler with the water sprayer. That seems like... Headlights. Yellow. I don't know why you would do yellow glass. And we could do the same pirate look for the uh, that we used on the other one. Hood, hood bra, do, 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 do. lifted primary hood, the carbon hood. That's interesting. It changes the texture on that. Well, that's an interesting thing too. I went with the carbon ones. It it shines up the fender. It doesn't even really match now. Oh, that's annoying. I did not realize it was doing, you know, big turbo. I like the big turbo, and yet I don't. You know, it's let's do race hood. Go back to fenders. Carbon strips to street fenders. Okay, which keeps it keeps the uh, the paint scheme about the same. Doesn't turn some shiny and some not. That just doesn't call into me. Real headlights. Hood's done. Horns. We don't care. Let's see. Horn. Standard. Truck horn. <laughs> Should that be the, the way to go? or da -da! Let's go with that. Oh, did I leave the music on again? Hopefully it's not loud enough to... Alright, let's... But we're just kind of stuck with it, aren't we? <sighs> There's always something in this game. What was I doing? Horn. We'll leave that horn for now. Lights. Headlights. For the one headlight. And go with the one red headlight.
Let's just go Xenon. Neon layout. Front, back, and sides. Neon color crew. Let's crew it up. Well, that we've already done. Plate, obviously, we're gonna go to the Black Knight. Yeah, I know these people have to know who they're, they're uh, who they're who they're racing, right? Maybe they don't. So we got the plate, uh, the respray is done, the roll cage, padded full roll cage. We're we're not messing around. Roof off to the track. <laughs> Should we do it that way? No, we're not doing that. That's. I dig it, but yet not. We'll leave the roof alone. Skirts. Carbon race? No. Race skirts. We need skirts. Primary. Yeah, I don't really see. Let's just leave that alone. Save the money. Primary OEM wing. So that would keep the, the original OEM wing. It takes a little bit of the shine off of it. It gives us all of all of the um, the downforce of all the other ones. Primary flap wing. That makes it look like it's an adjustable thing. I like that. Primary flap. Let's go. I mean, a yeah, secondary flap would probably be cool too. It looks the same. Sun strips. I don't know why they've been like, you know, it's all the same colors anyway, so let's just do that. Sun strips. So, oh, I get it. The, uh, the color didn't change on the wing because we got the whole livery doing here. So sun strips are done. Suspension. We're giving it to sport. Because you have to do that just for it to handle. We can do this. We can do it to kick it out. But that then, I feel like I'm going to, at some point, just catch a curb. And have it go boing. Race trans. Trunk. Primary color trunk. Yeah, let's primary the trunk. Turbo, obviously. Wheels. Wheel type. Off road. Stock rims. Amazonians. But would it go better if we do. Um, Yeah, it's a race car. Let's go Amazon. Wheel color. We can just go black. That will work too. Frost white doesn't really seem to... Seems a little dim, doesn't it? But it kind of goes with the Dinka. We're going to go frost white. Because, I mean, the reds don't really line up. You do pink. Do some kind of contrasty sort of color. You know, we we'll do a blue to bright blue. Is there an ultra blue? Fluorescent blue. Fluorescent doesn't call it bright blue. I don't know. Let's go. Let's stick with the white for right now. Tires, tires down. Let's leave them black while it appears. Do we want to do customs? All terrain radials. All terrain, baby. Bulletproof. I'm not going to do the 200 mile an hour shoot the back tires out trick. You can go 200 mile an hour straight, but you can't steer. Okay, that's. Saw that. I forget where I even saw that. Leave the windows alone. And let's. Uh, oh, good. The radio's turned off anyway. Peeling out, it, it does. It spins the tires so much, it's actually kind of sluggish, you know. Let's see, let's see if we have to turn suddenly. Whoa, 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 whoa! It really wants to push. See, it's, it's a very pushing, very understeer kind of car. Now I can, I can tap it. I can give it a touch of the uh, the handbrake. And it, it does drift nice at that point. Learn to drive. I just thread the needle between you and a concrete post. Come on. In a drift. 
I used a regular brake there. I don't know that it, uh, it worked as efficiently. Is this the first car where using the um, the regular brake? Wow, it just pushes so hard. Is less effective than using the hand for making it turn. Interesting. Well, we're going to have to race it soon. I'm just stopping over here. And the phone is ringing. And I don't have anything in here. Okay, that's just one thing I wanted to check. Um, I had hoped to do a little bit of racing with this, but it's probably, probably going to be... That might be tomorrow. You know, the curiosity's got you going crazy, doesn't it? But we'll just have to see next time how all this works out. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Thank you.